this is just the start of leg two, um, leaving checkpoint one, which is leaving Withington Church, heading up a sealed driveway. Yes, and this thing, all right, you sure can flip up. Like that's now going to actually open. Wait. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just get this. Uh, 1.20 miles have continued along the sealed driveway till you get to a, a white fence post, but you'll see on the left a stile, so go over the stile. It's Worldway, uh, WW Worldway. Yep. 1.36 miles, you come out and you cross over a, a driveway. And you'll see the finger posts, uh, there's markers which indicate which way to go. So if you look out for the finger post, no problem. 1.43 miles, you get to a, a y, y junction. Both sealed driveways or driveways, you want to take the right hand driveway. It is signposted, uh, it's got the way marker. 1.92 miles. You've left the sealed driveway, gone up a forest track for a wee bit, and if you look on your right, you'll actually see the marker post, but which indicates the turn left past a uh, horrible metal green gate. So we want to turn left. There's a big concrete. Uh, there's a concrete public footpath sign, and also WW marker. So go past the. Green metal gate and just it's a gravel forest track that goes gradual uphill. 2.33 miles. Uh, if you look straight ahead at the end of the forest track, you'll see a, a gate. So you can just pass through the gate and it goes now onto a single track through the woods. 2.77 miles. You come to a uh, a Y junction. There is the World Way marker post, but it hasn't got an arrow showing which way to go. So an arrow on there would be useful, but you want to take the right fork. The right fork at this World Way marker post without an arrow. 3.33 miles. Uh, you come along the forest track and then you sort of get to a junction. There's just some trees. You've got to look for a little narrow gap. It's not hard to see. A little narrow gap through these trees. A, uh, a marker post here is definitely needed. Okay, so make a note of that. Marker post needed. I'll see if I can get some in place. 3.42 miles. You get to another Y junction. You're out sort of in open space. And there is the world way. Marker post there, but no arrow. And again, you want to take the right fork. The right fork. Yep. 4.00 miles, you've come and you meet a another path right at the top of Ashdown Forest. We turn right, so you turn a sharp right, and it's a it's a really wide track. It's about a 15 meter wide track, so you just find out the turn right. This is where you leave the Vanguard Way. Oh, sorry, you leave the World Way and join the Vanguard Way. 4.51 miles. Uh, you've continued along that wide, wide, really wide path, and you sort of join into a track. You want to veer left. Veer left. A marker post here. It's really needed because it's not totally clear. Yeah, uh, about what's that? 90 metres after your last veer to the left, you get to a Y junction and you want to veer to the right, so take the right hand fork. Again, this would be useful. 4.64 miles, again, you just go past a little post in the ground, short post. Another wide junction you want to veer slightly to the right, take the right fork. 4.66 miles across the, the B road, go straight across and you'll see the Vanguard Way sign where it says horse route by permit only. And we're just continuing up here. Okay, so you've gone up the uh, 
gentle rise following the wide track this is where you leave the Vanguard Way the Vanguard Way it's not signposted but it actually does a sharp left but if you continue along the track it's I'll, I'll be marking this bit since we're off the Vanguard Way but you just go straight ahead and we're gonna head to Pooh Bridge, uh, the famous Winnie the Pooh bridge where they play poo sticks. So um, this bit will be signposted because it's not on the Vanguard Bay, it's just on a, a standard footpath. But so we're heading towards Pooh Bridge. No, no, so we just uh, continue straight ahead uh, down the hill. So you're now descending down towards Pooh Bridge. So again, straight ahead. This looks like yeah, 6.35 miles. You have to stop to play poo sticks bridge, uh, poo sticks over the bridge. But yeah, you followed the path all the way. There's a few posts saying uh, P dot bridge, poo bridge, so you lose quite a bit of height. It's a lovely track down to the bridge. And then continue straight ahead. 6.53 miles. You've come out of the single track, the bush track. You come onto a uh, sealed driveway or a tiny country lane turn left and start heading up the hill you stay on this driveway this country lane all the way to checkpoint two which isn't too far away six point eight nine miles well, as you can tell by my breathing oh. yeah we've just come up a climb up the, the country lane and you'll see the style on your left as I mentioned earlier it's not the Vanguard way we've done a detour to go across Pooh Bridge and this footpath has got number 12 on it so whatever that means but go over the stile so turn left away from the road over the stile located at the stile is um, checkpoint 2 so this is actually the end of leg 2 so uh, just located at the style there should be a couple of tables on race day a couple of tables or with uh, water and uh, some food for you to enjoy so um, yeah checkpoint two is directly located at the style and then to continue along the race route you would go over the style and that would be the start of leg three